All right, guys. These are the cuttings from the variegated devil's backbone. And as you can see, she's well rooted. And I'm going to put them down in some soil. And then I also went ahead and took the mother out, which I'm glad I did because the soil was just, I mean, the roots dry rotted. <clears throat> Pretty sure water. So. Switching out the soil. She didn't do much growing this year. Um, switching out the soil and putting her in a smaller pot as well. All right, guys. So I am in the process of moving some of the plants from the inside to the outside. This is my infamous garden bed right here. Um, if any of the plants that I get that I don't want to get rid of because of how they look then they try and make their way out here into the garden section but I am preparing like I said all of this here will be full of plants <clears throat> it's such a nice day out here today Okay, guys, I wanted to do a bulb update. Um, this is the top part of that bulb, which is still trying to grow. Um, the big alocasia, you guys may remember. Um, also, let's see, can I get down in here? This one here. Oh, please don't fall. The big one. Is anyone else having this problem? Like, on my Raven ZZ? The newest, well, one of the new stocks, I just started to die back. Um, I noticed it on one of the other ones as well. Um, not sure is that a thing or not, but just wanted to check. As you can see, yeah, that is supposed to be way longer. It's missing some leaves a lot. But I did end up putting her in a bigger pot to try and cover up some of those um, I think they're rhizomes, I'm not mistaken, they kind of look like potatoes, but I covered them up some more and gave a little bit water. Um, it looks a little bit more fuller than what it once was, but I'm not sure, guys. So, um, yeah, this is what we're dealing with now. Big one, she's doing just fine. This one here, um, it, it, well, it's hard to put it back because it's missing a big chunk. But it was sitting on top of the grow tent to continue to dry out. But I forgot that I um, opened up, ventilated the top corner. And those were the holes. That's where the roots were sitting at grass. But um, ventilated the top part. And um, this whole section here was getting hit with moisture. And then as you can see, it was rotting. It stopped now. Cleaned it off. Cut it up. And it's dry. Um, this was the other end to it. Um, that I did save. I uh, cut all the molding part off and she's fine. As you can see, new growth point there. But I'm um, just waiting, I guess, whenever I decide to put them in the pot. Or I might just take them um, probably to my grandmother's house and put them in the ground so they can actually get the size that I actually like looking at, you know. So. Yeah, that's that, you guys. So they didn't make it. They're just fine. Of course, my error messed it up from the huge log that you guys once seen. But she's just fine. All right, guys. Proven fact. My Adesani um, Swiss cheese has been outside all year long, including winter. Um, you can see how much died back, especially from um, when it got freezing weather here. And, you know, some of it froze off, but the thick stem here is growing, putting out some nice thick leaves here. It's just a wonderful plant. Hardy as well, as you can see, at least for the most part. All right, guys. So, as you can see, this is my... Um, dragon fruit that i got i think last summer um some of her did die 
Um, I did take those out. I don't know if you can see that clear or not, but um, the winner kind of got to her. Uh, kind of covered up real, real late. So, anyway, you guys, um, I decided to use this metal trellis here. Going to see, can I get her to fruit uh, flower this year? Hopefully, I can. Um, this is the newest stalk that came out right after the cold, well, at the end of the cold break. And, of course, there is new growth everywhere else. There and there as well. And those just the little area roots coming out of that. But um, there was a piece of wood here. If you guys did follow me, um, this one, matter of fact, right there. Um, that's when I first got her. And she just grew like crazy. Um, it was way longer. This end here got frostbite. And it was starting to mold, so I had to cut it off. But, yeah, guys, this is what we're working with right now, and I can't wait. I don't know if you can see it from that side because of the sun, but, yeah. What's going on, guys? So, um, what I am doing here, I am actually bottling up my fertilizer, you, uh -oh, you guys, which is, um, I don't know if you probably can see it or not, but... Um, nothing but rain water and miracle girl. Now I do these here. Um, so I don't have to do one of those big, how you, you, you guys may have seen on the main channel, one of those water with me. Yeah, that can be kind of, kind of hectic. So let's pull this down so you guys can see some. So yeah, this is the water. Um, and of course, I'm just using um, recycled water bottles. And as you can see, you probably can. I can't. I don't know. That made it white. But um, there is a blue tint to them all. Now, shockingly, it rained um, recently, and I'm glad I did get up and catch some more water. Um, things kind of like that don't need or can't handle the extra chlorine chemicals, or especially like my calatheas. My calatheas definitely need, need the rain water. If not, then those tips or edges crisp up real quick. That sucked. Now, currently, you guys, I have, I think, 12 bottles, maybe 10, that uh, I will be trying to hopefully fill up. I have a bigger bottle right here, my um, two-liter Dr. Pepper bottle. That I was going to use, but... I made a executive decision just pull that in there, to just use these here. Um, a lot more manageable, especially when I'm trying to pour in confined spaces. Even though I do have a um, small nozzle watering can. Yeah. 
these right here will be more um, on hand ready compared to the watering can and trying to find it and everything else that goes along with watering can. So, and then also, you know, you guys, recycling. So I have two more here that I can do real quick. And then the rest of this, um, probably just pour on some of the plants outside. And, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that was strange. Um, but yeah, I'll probably pour the rest of this on the plants that are have been growing outside. Even though they do get, you know, some natural fertilizer, um, things from decomposed stuff. Stuff of that nature, but nothing man-made fertilizer, rather. Human, rather. I just had this other lid that I'm looking for, and I don't see. Hmm. Which is okay because I have a a bottle right here in front of me that top that I'm actually drinking that I'm just going to just take off and finish drinking it. And I'm pretty sure once I take it off and finish drinking it, I'm going to find the top. So, this is the one I was drinking, you guys. I'll just stick the top on here. All right. So, I actually have enough for maybe two some bottles, you guys. Hold on real quick. All right, guys. Let's do two more bottles here. And then, because this is a lot to be trying to pour out. Um outside even though it wouldn't hurt but you know i collected this water here <laughs> all right top here and you know what i still didn't find the other top so this plastic one but Uh, hopefully it doesn't fall over. So let's do this real quick. Let's get this one here. Also this water for Just strange. I had all tops here, and I literally just pulled them off before um, actually cutting this camera on. So I don't know, guys. So yeah, that'll be it then. Um, but yeah, guys. Yep, I don't know where it's at, and it's actually okay. I'll just pull this here. Yeah, pour these in another plant or something out. But yeah, guys, that is it. Just want to show you guys um, how I bottle up my fertilizer. Yeah. All right, guys. So I have another begonia here that came out this huge pot um, that I'm currently getting out. It was big, but um, she tends to grow back every year. <clears throat> but I'm going to take her out and turn her into a house plant. Pretty angel wings. I'm not sure which one of these are. Maybe you can tell me down in the comment section below. <laughs>